Hello, this is PC Roger, and what I want to do in this short video is talk about the different types of hard drives that you might find in your PC or laptop. I get a lot of questions, especially when it comes to data recovery and does the Vantech USB hard drive adapter will work on my hard drive. So I thought I would show you what some of the different hard drives looked like. Now these two here are actually SCSI hard drives from those big monstrous servers you see uh, in business as usually. And uh, they're a little bit older in their, the, the type of drive that they are. The uh, newer servers probably have uh, serial attached SCSI, but this is the old 80 pin SCSI. And you can see there that it's just, it's designed to slide into a hot swap drive bay on a server. This unit here, 68 pin SCSI hard drive. Point is with this one, you have a ribbon cable that you'll plug onto that. And with this dial, you will see some jumper pins as well. And that can be used to configure the drive. This is the power connector here over on this side. The uh, jumper pins kind of in the middle there. And then here's where you plug the cable in. Probably don't have either of those two drives on your laptop or, or desktop unit. You, you could, but definitely, I don't think a laptop, but you could have it on a desktop PC, but just not likely. These drives here are workstation drives. And over here we have three and a half inch hard drives. The one on the top here is the standard uh, ribbon cable IDE with a little plug in there and some jumpers, or I should say jumper pins, and then the power connector. And on a, on a drive that I prefer, code for the jumper pins is right here on a sticker on the drive. Not always. If it's not, then hop over to Google and put in the model number and see if you can find out what the pin information is. But these are almost extinct. They're going to be on older PCs, but you uh, certainly can run into them and there's still a use for them. And I'll have that in another video too. This drive is serial ATA or SATA, 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 call it what you will, but it is serial ATA and it's the newer style. And uh, the one plug is for power, the other is for data. They are a different size, so it's uh, difficult to get them uh, uh, switch there. They have an L shape uh, uh, in the plastic, so it's uh, very difficult to plug them on incorrectly. This is a newer style, and you'll find it in most desktop PCs. Now, with this particular drive, you can actually use the old style power connector also. And if you do, do not use the newer style. It's just for legacy computers that maybe do not have uh, an adapter. A lot, a lot of these drives will even come with an adapter for the power supply, so that you can use the newer style power plug but uh, do not connect both of them at once. Here we have two laptop hard drives. On the top here, I have the older style IDE. And as you can see, it's got the same pin arrangement. And hopefully you can see that the pins are pretty much even with the end of the drive or the drive case. Now, some people have contacted me and said, hey, the adapter, uh, the Vantec adapter to try to get the data off this drive that won't, doesn't fit, won't plug on. And, and it's not either IDE, it's not serial ATA. Well, chances are it is IDE, but it has an adapter, a proprietary adapter that might have come out when you took the hard drive out of the laptop. Now what you can do in that case, if you do not see the pins here, is carefully and evenly try to slide that adapter off and you'll probably see the pins like this drive here. And these are referred to as two and a half inch hard drives. Here's another laptop or, or netbook hard drive. And this is the new serial ATA. And as you can see, it's got the similar style plugs that the, uh, the three and a half inch drive had for the workstations. And again, there, there could be an adapter on this. Uh, I don't think it's as likely, but there could be. And again, here you have the L-shaped uh, connector for the power and then the data cable. And there are two uh, jumpers, uh, actually one jumper and two sets of jumper pins for configuring the drive. A lot of times you don't have to configure the drive, but uh, maybe in a special situation you might have to. But that's pretty much it for this short video. I just wanted to show you exactly what these drives look like, how to tell the difference between IDE and Serial ATA, and to let you know that you're really probably only going to find those two different styles in most desktops or laptop slash netbooks. So if you're looking at one of my other videos on the Vantech USB hard drive adapter and maybe data recovery, chances are you will find one of these uh, hard drives in your machine and the Vantech adapter will work on any of those except for the server SCSI drives, which we had at the beginning of the video. 
So that's it for this short video. Please come to my website, pcroger.com. Got a link there on the screen. Got a link in the description uh, if this is on YouTube. And I click that and you'll be taken straight to it. Thanks for watching.